Well, hello, this is Comrade Sephiroth, and welcome back for episode number five of Let's Play Chrono Cross. Okay, it's time to go, I guess, to Lizard Rock, but I'm going to take a very quick detour over here to Fossil Valley, the south end, just to show you that you cannot get past here. There appears to be some sort of a formal government investigation of that. There's also a place up here by the waterfall that you can go to. Um, I'm not going to show it to you right now. And here are the Hydra Marshes. apparently is useless according to that guy, which is a little bit of a lie because Poshul is actually pretty good, at least early in the game. Later on, she won't uh, be quite as useful, but early on, she's a good attacker when physical strength is what matters. Alright, time to go to Lizard Rock and get on with the game. We move a shell out of our way and throw it into the water. Oh, look at all that coral around here. This looks like it's some sort of a tidal flood zone. Anyway, we'll go down and get this beach bum. I think it's possible to actually sneak past around some of these guardian monsters, but I'm not going to. Oh, now look at how exotic everything looks like. I don't think you'll, you'll get that anywhere in California. You have to really go to the tropics to see. Or, I don't think the real tropics quite look like that. This is a fantasy world, remember? Now I'm going to show you a couple of the other elements. Um, let's... 16. See, Poshul is very strong, actually. Wait, no, no. Attack. Poshul only gains 0.9 stamina per turn, so she's a little slower. I'm going to show you her element, uh, her magic spell, Uplift. This is a an earth elemental spell, and looks kind of cool. 16. Again, her magic power is not quite as high as Sergei's, but her attack power is a little bit better. Just slightly. Sergei is actually kind of ha is a more formidable character in general than most of the others. Some of them are totally useless, and some of them are pretty good. But Sergei tends to be good at almost everything, and then the other characters have strengths and weaknesses, and some of them are a waste of time. Okay, more bonuses. Off screen, I got a few as well. Use the automatic heal. And I got more humors, which will be useful when I start forging equipment. What do we got here? Fireball. Let's check our elements. Oh, I don't have any more space. Though what I could do... is replace... Well, I have one fireball. I'll, I'll just use one for now. What I could do is, since the monsters around here tend to be weak against fire, I could put two fireball spells in my list. That way I could use it. Now, uh, twice, but now, look at this. The drag, that's a Komodo dragon, and it keeps going back and forth amongst the tongue. Now, remember that clue that the guy in the village said about rock and roll? Well, what you do is you block this. and trap it. Gotcha. Now you just fight the Komodo dragon and steal its scales. It's kind of a cruel um, thing if you think about it. You're killing um, wild animals for their... basically you're poaching them. Now 
Now let's see here. Oh, it is blue. Never mind, I can use my... Oh, we'll use Uplift again. We should have already seen Aqua Beam and Fireball and Uplift. I also have um, Photon Ray, but I haven't equipped it yet. Now let's use Fireball, since that's what it's weak against. It's another blue uh, monster. And your characters have innate elemental traits, too. Like, Sergei is white, which is holy. And Poshul, I think, is yellow, which is earth and lightning. I know usually lightning is considered a wind or air elemental. Um, got some bones. Um, anyway, a wind elemental attack, like in Secret of Mana. Or a holy elemental, like in the original Chrono Trigger. And there I got a Komodo scale. But in this game... It's earth and lightning are yellow, wind and plants are green, so it's a little bit different. And then water and ice are blue and fire is red, so that part's simple. Now I could go here right away, but I'm going to take this path. Now it might be, because I already got one Komodo dragon scale, that I'm able to actually skip the rest of them, or I'm, that I'm able to skip, that I can get three of them here, but since I got one in the village, I might only have to get two here. But I'm going to get all three just to show you what happens, um, what's normally supposed to happen in this game, is you're supposed to get all three from Opasa Beach, and when that happens, um, well, just wait, you'll see, I don't want to spoil it even just saying that that there's something to spoil is itself a minor spoiler. Apologies to all those who are feeling like I've already screwed it up. Anyway, more beach bums. This is actually pretty simple stuff. These battles are kind of bored are kind of annoying because they move a little bit more slowly than in some other games. No notice I didn't get any power ups. That means that I've kind of maxed out for this experience level. And there are no experience points or traditional experience levels, but there is a kind of a pseudo-experience system I'll explain more about later. There. Drop the stone into the bottom and it'll knock the chest loose so it'll float to the top. There it is. A silver loop. Let's equip that on Sergei. No, equip it on Poshul, because she doesn't have any. It improves her accuracy, which is, or her hit rate, or whatever, but that's important, because you don't want to miss your attacks too often. I'm going to skip that one. Now, this is a key area. Um, Oh, another beach bum. I'm going to show you the second trick. Uh, the old man in his r riddle said something about the terrain around here, and we're going to use that to find another Komodo dragon, another shy one. But battles just go on and 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 uh, once I learn how to edit I'll be taking some of them out but it'll make it difficult because it's kind of hard to time when you're editing out battles it's hard to tell just how much real how much unedited time has passed unless you sit around with a stopwatch and keep hitting stop and go which means it could be difficult to know when I'm gonna need to cut for a, a new episodes, but I'll, I'll cut the battles out anyway. I might just kind of eyeball it and err on the conservative side and make my videos only six, seven, eight minutes long um, by my guess. That way I don't have to worry about going over. And we are just about out of time.
We're right at about 10 minutes now, so I'm going to get up here. I'm going to edit this battle I'm entering in out, and I will see you next time on episode, is it 6? Yeah, I think it's episode 6 of Let's Play Chrono Cross. This is Comrade Sephiroth, and I hope you have a great evening.